I have I have completely forgotten to do this video earlier, so I'm just going to do it right now. The cost of moving. What is it? Why it's important? And how much would it cost? Well, take this into consideration. When you're moving, it's going to be a process of around, of around two to maybe a month, two weeks to a month, and that's not it because. In that time, you're going to have to be renting two houses, your old house and your new house, while you're moving. Plus, the new house normally takes the deposit, plus the first rent of month, the first month, first rents of month, the first month's rent. Okay, that made sense. So let's say you have a house for fifteen hundred, one thousand five hundred. You pay three thousand euro in the first month, plus your old house's rent. And if you don't have savings, this can really add up and can be quite a bit and daunting. Then you gotta consider all the different bills you have to pay. You have to finish accounts, close them off, do etc. And that takes money. That money. And then you need to set up new accounts and you also need to put the deposit in. Like the bin company I'm contacting is 25 euro 50 cent per month. But if you're a new tenant, you have to pay 50 one year for the first month. So, okay, that's just a really simple example, but taking take into consideration all of these things. Then, we're moving manually. What I mean by that is we are driving from one spot to the other. So, in this very instance, we're driving from Tohar to Drada, which is around 20 kilometers, give or take. And, yeah, that's, that's 20 kilometers. Both ways, that's 40 kilometers per car. And we do two cars, so that's 80 kilometers unnecessary per day and that adds up on petrol and also wears down the car and the maintenance is the main thing that wears it down because the country roads are awful and yeah it gets wrecked really quickly <sighs> my arms are sore I was in town for a few hours but now but now what else what other costs come into place well you're going to have to probably either scrap your furniture, so go to a recycling center like a mattress, and that can take a van hire plus like 20 euro to recycle the mattress. Ridiculous. And then you have to buy a lot of new furniture if the landlord doesn't, if the new house doesn't have it. And that's a lot of money plus delivery costs, etc. And you also have to spend a lot of time building. So that can translate into you taking days off work, which you lose more money. Yeah, so I mean, the last big point of moving is the delivery. Like, we're only bringing one van tomorrow for the main delivery, and that's going to be the main furniture. And that costs money as well. But the main cost is the time, in my opinion. Because moving is so time, con is so time consuming. Okay, I'm going to give you an example of myself. My mum wakes up around 6 a.m. and packs the car, full packs boxes, etc. I wake up at like 7 ish. Then we leave the house at 7 30, come here. Then I'm here from near me 8 to like 11 a.m., unpacking, etc., repacking, putting boxes in the, in the car. Sometimes we go shopping. And then I'm got off to college. And when I'm finished at 2, for instance, I'd be here till like 4 or 5 easily. Yesterday I was here till half 8. So that's so much time. And that time actually accounts for a lot of things. Like you're tired. You're getting minimal sleep. And in my photography and my video work. Like I'm making vlogs right now for my recent holiday. I'm not sure when this new video is going to be made. But my recent holiday was in Spain. In Fuengarola. I'm still making the first video. And it's been like a week and a half since I've been there. Ridiculous. I like normally I'd be in like four or five videos by now and all the pictures I did. Oh, I haven't even started the pictures. So, yeah, time is money. Time is money.